Hey there viewers, it's Charlie, I'm back again with another Transformers review and today's review is going to be on Legacy Evolution Armada Optimus Prime Now this figure has been a long time coming for me This figure I've wanted ever since it was first shown but well, of course, this being a commander class, it's like a hundred pounds. So I decided to just ho hold off for a little while. That a little while turned into nearly a year because I, I kept getting distracted by other figures. And well, soon I turned into United Wave One. But well, eventually I, I just said, "Screw it! No more of the distractions. I'm finally buying this figure." And well. Here he is. And was it worth the wait? I mean, come on, hell yes. Of, co of, of course this is worth the wait. Okay, video over. Okay, jokes aside, I could just say that this figure is amazing and uh, finish it there, but come on, that's going the easy way out. Let's just start off with the box now. And of course, with this being a commander class, we got a really big box to look at. So, starting off, we got Prime in his super mode, which... Well, I was going to say started off in Armada, but it started off in uh, Robots in Disguise, actually. And we are getting a Hazlab of the R.I.D. Prime, which... Well, I do want, but... Of course, it's a Hazlab, it's... Like, 200 pounds, that one I'm probably not going to get, unfortunately, but... Well... Got a picture of, uh, Super Mode Prime here, which looks amazing! Compared to Motor Mass's simple vehicle mode artwork. Armada Universe Optimus Prime! This side, we got a picture of him going into vehicle mode. I think the Cybertronian still says Motor Master for some reason. I don't know why. This side. We've got one half of the Evolution Mural. And of course we've got Prime right there. Teasing everyone when, uh, when this uh, line was first shown. And the back we've got him in... I guess all three modes, because we've got his standard robot mode, his vehicle mode, and his super mode, plus the uh, trailer's base mode, which, of course, it's not accurate to the original, but that's because the original uh, flayed open. And, and he's got a matrix. So, yeah. And blast the top, unlike Motor Master, has a QR code. I'm gonna miss these with United, so yeah. Now, just moving on to the figure. Well, of course, he transforms into the, uh, I guess futuristic uh, semi-mode because of course Armada was meant to be a reboot of uh, Transformers and this is fully accurate to uh, how it, it looked in the show and while just looking at this plus the trailer yeah it, it just looks really nice of course the trailer has the uh, treads on it Got the uh, I guess uh, boxes here, which on the original uh, stored many cons, but here these are the feet. We've got the back here, which has the uh, combined modes, uh, I guess, waist piece. So, uh, yeah. Now looking at the uh, two separately, 
starting off with uh, Prime himself. I'm pretty sure this was the uh, first ever like extended nose there cab optimus that we had. And I'll always have a soft spot for this optimus. Maybe it's partly due to that one uh, Bolt Matrix video where he says, This probably burned down my house! <laughs> but, yeah. I just love the design of our modern Optimus. But just looking at the, uh, the details here. Of course, we've got the smokestacks here, which, of course, are removable, just like the original. He actually can take blast effects if he wants, so if you want to do that, then there you go. Because he's kind of formed guns if he wants. The front, the grill just looks really intimidating. Like, this guy can literally be a battering ram if he wants. The windows are clear plastic compared to the original. Well, I was going to say the original figure, I was thinking of the deluxe figure, because I think the uh, main figure actually had the, the Supreme one. Because I was thinking of this figure, which we'll do a comparison of later. But yeah, he's got clear windows. He's got ports here. Got some ports here. Of course, the hands for the uh, super motor right there, but unlike the uh, original, they're folded in, so they're not just out there in the open, which I think is a really good update. The underneath, not really much to uh, talk about. But for the Autobahn Insignia right here, I mean, for one, it's molded instead of just painted on, but well, we can actually, if I can do this, it might come flying off. Oh, there we go. You can take the uh, Insignia off. And that just leaves another port. I mean, it, it is warped. And normally I'd say, oh, it's probably just my copy. But I think all copies have this issue. But I mean, if you want to plug the gun on there, which we'll talk about soon, then uh, go ahead. Oh. And I think most people uh, have agreed that this is probably so, if they ever do a uh, Armada Universe Jetfire, this can come off of the uh, combination, because of course Jetfire has the uh, bit that comes out to form a chess piece for the, the Jet Optimus co combination. So uh, yeah. yeah. That's pretty much it for the uh, cab mode. So let's briefly compare him with the only other Armada Prime I have, which is the Deluxe figure. Of course, this one's missing the uh, smokestacks, but oh well. And I think these two actually kind of look uh, good together. I don't know if we'll get to a Nemesis Prime from this, but... Still, these look uh, really good together. Of course, the uh, windows in this one are just uh, painted on. We don't have the uh, fists, because there's no super mode. And there's a minicom port on top. For the uh, punching gimmick in robot mode, but yeah, I think these two look really good together. Although, let's be honest, this is the d definitive one because, of, of course, this is just a simple deluxe figure, and uh, the the original Supreme figure could be a fire hazard if you mishandle it. I'm not saying it is a fire hazard; it, it, I'm just saying it can be because that. I don't know, like, he probably didn't have the, uh, trailer up fully unhooked or something. Plus, I'm pretty sure the original figure had a gold plastic syndrome in some areas. So, uh, there's, there's that. Or this. I think this is the, the, the definitive one. But, well, let's move on to the trailer. So, for the stands, we just move these bits down. And there we go. Now for the trailer. Well, I definitely really like this trailer. I mean, of course, it's got like treads instead of wheels, which I'm pretty sure a normal uh, truck trailer would not have. But come on, this is meant to be a futuristic vehicle.
Got the uh, big Ultima insignias right here. Got these boxes, which on the original, well, well on the uh, original, these stored mini cons, but in this, they don't really do anything. I mean, they do house the uh, stands, though, but eh. The top, we got these three ports for our weapons, or. I guess maybe Whisper and Jolts, or if you're watching this in the future, Windshear and Jolts, because we are getting a Armada Wheeljack, so. But yeah, this is pretty much just a, just a like, huge uh, box with some uh, other boxes sticking out. Oh. And I guess he has the uh, same issue that uh, Motor Master has, but if you were. Uh, if you're not careful, these bits can then move down. Although it's more of this one, like this one is a bit more loose than uh, this one. So uh, yeah. Now, aside from uh, the smokestack guns that Prime has, the only other accessory is this gun. Which, I mean, this is pretty much the Armada Ion Blaster. So yeah. And that just plugs on top like so. And if we just uh, bring Prime back, we can flip these up. Plug that in. And then we've got the uh, full-on truck mode again. And yeah, that looks uh, really nice. And, well, I'm sure if, if they, they released that to all the... I'm pretty sure that's a figure from our 2019 or all that concept from 2019. Like, they didn't even transform it. If they had really something like that, it would not have looked nearly as nice as this. Because this. This is amazing. Like, this is definitely way nicer than Motor Master, in my opinion. Like, what? Motor Master is definitely really nice looking. But, of course, the trailer parts forms. Uh, Motor Master himself has some uh, uh, weird things to him. And, of course, his super mode is just meant to sort out the uh, other stunt to control. This, this is a full-on contained super mode. The, tr the base mode doesn't need the parts form. This is just a full-on contained commander class figure. So, yeah. Now, I think I've gushed enough about the uh, vehicle mode, so let's move on to the transformation. So, to get him in, in, into his, uh, I guess, standard robot mode, well, let's just start off with the feet. So, we're just going to open up these panels, get the feet out. Close these up, like so. Instead of extending the legs out, we actually just spin around the tires, like so. Split these, open these up. Just untap these, like so. Come around here. Bring, bring the headlights outwards, like so, and these are on these little, uh, yeah, uh, these are on uh, those little joints that can uh, come off easily, so uh, just be careful. Just bring these outwards. Don't just bring this down. Bring the red section down as, as well. So if I just. Uh, Try and raise the camera. But just bring the uh, grill section down. Move the arms down. Rotate the fist around. Get these bits down. And here we have Prime in his standard robot mode. 
So, yeah. And if we just uh, get the gun on top from the trailer and into his hand. Yeah, that's pretty much just a modernized version of the original toy. So just have your 360 of that. Of course, you still have the visible hands there, but oh well. Bringing in a close up of the head. Once again, that's a really accurate head sculpt. And well, we can bring this down. And we've got the matrix right there. And as the back of the box showed, we can't get the matrix out. And because. Oh. Yeah, this guy can fall over sometimes. Like, I noticed something. See these uh, ports, these are actually meant to uh, tab into the hands, but they don't seem to tab in that well uh, for some reason, so, hmm, but as I was trying to say, so we've got the Armada version of the Matrix, so this one doesn't, doesn't seem to have the hand grips for it to open, right. Yeah, probably one of my least favorite Matrix designs, actually. But hey, this one uh, uh, can come out, uh, like the original figure. So, yeah. And you can see how uh, feet always just uh, play, uh, play up. But let's be honest, I don't think anyone's going to display him in this mode anyway. Now, let's bring in the trailer, because, of course, the trailer has another mode as well. And compared to the original uh, figure where it just, like, splayed out automatically and set your house on fire, this one just transforms uh, manually. So we'll just bring these out again. And we'll uh, get to the uh, base mode. So to get this into base mode, we're just going to move this up, open up the auto insignias, open up these panels, and tap the sides here, move these up, just get these all up out come here and just move these blue boxes into here so once again try and move this blue box section into here move the treads down try and get these bits tapped it into here and then just Try and get this gun orientated around. So just spin that, move it up, and yes, this can come off. So uh, be careful with that. And one step I forgot is to rotate this around, and this actually tabs into here. Well, seeing how 
I'm on camera, it's probably not going to. Oh, there we go. So, yeah. And then just move these little uh, pillars into here. And then just move these down. And here we have the base mode. And yeah, it's not exactly the original figure, but honestly, I kind of prefer it. Because, of course, this isn't just a laid out pair of trousers from to wear later. This is an actual base. And unlike Motormaster, you don't have to parts form it. This is a full on transformation. So we can just put Prime somewhere. And you can, like. Like, Prime can actually, like, man these uh, guns here. Or, we can take this gun off, put Prime in the back if he's, like, on the defense or something, and just plug this gun onto one of these two ports. So, yeah. Although, it seems to be a way to uh, down. So, perhaps I don't have to transform right, but here we go. So, here we have the uh, full-on full beast mode. Sure, it's missing the tower, like, some ports for a minicons to go on to. But, well, I still think that this looks really nice. Because we've got, like, a full-on, I guess, missile launcher? Got some... I guess, uh, bits for some of the Autobots to, uh, lay down and attack. Got a bit of a Prime to stand if he's going to. Let's see. Well, yeah, but then this droops down. So I probably don't have to transform right, but... Well, I mainly have him in the, uh, super mode anyway, so... But just before we do that... Let's move on to this guy's articulation. So, this guy's posability is just like how the... Well, I was going to say, it's just like the original figure. It's better than that, obviously, but... But, of course, his head can go side to side. Can look up and down slightly. His arm can move here. He's got trigger-happy shoulders, but... He can still T-pose. Sort of a double jointed elbow, bicep rotation, wrist rotation. Unfortunately, nothing at nothing at, at, at the waist, but of course that's due to how he transforms into super mode. He can kick forward and listen to that rat shit. Oh, that's a rarity nowadays. Can kick back that far if you move the uh, skirt out, out the way. He can do the splits. Swivel. Knee, again, really good ratchet. And foot pivot. So yeah, for a, a mode that I'm pretty sure like only like maybe five percent of people are going to the display them in. This guy's got some really good joints. I guess the feet as well, but that's more because of the uh, transformation. And finally, let's move on to how does he look next to the original deluxe figure? I don't have the supreme figure because. Well, I, I I don't want my house to catch on fire. <laughs> okay, I should not be joking about that, but... Well, here is the deluxe figure. And we can see that, of course, he's bigger. I'm pretty sure he's either the same size or maybe a bit bigger than the uh, original Supreme figure. 
Because this is like, oh, like this is like old Ed Lux size. So, uh, yeah. And of course, this had like the, the uh, punching gimmick that uh, Runover gave him, or Overrun, no. Overrun was, uh, Overrun is this guy's mini card. Run, uh, Runover is Nemesis' uh, a mini card. So, uh, yeah. Now, let's move on to the main, the, uh, main events. Super mode. Meaning, I'm going to have to raise my camera, but first, let's move on to getting this guy into torso mode, so... We'll do uh, how the cartoon did, and start off with the, the hands. So, we'll just flip up the feet. Because, of course, when he did the uh, super mode in the show, he always flipped out the uh, hands from his feet first, and then just flipped around. Also, you can just flip around the feet to cover the gaps. So we got that. I'm going to take take these off just to uh, show something that you, that's how you can do. I'm like the box doesn't cause Eva Fusion, but I'm pretty sure this is the Eva Fusion gimmick. So I'll show that when we get to the full-on combination. But I'll just uh, flip, flip around the hands. Flip up the shoulders. Just move these down for now. Push that down. Split the waist. Oh, in fact, I forgot something. Move the grill down, then split the split the crotch like so. Which that sounds painful. <laughs> But we're just going to move the super mode sh shoulders down. Get, get the super mode head out. Move that down because that's going to plug in into something. Move the shoulders up. And then these will just plug into something. I can't really focus like from far away, so. But they do have a, a dedicated tab that they plug into. There we go. So just uh, move down the super mode arms. Then just move these back in. And that's pretty much that done. Now for the, the uh, trousers. Thankfully... Thankfully, these are not the wrong trousers compared to uh, what happened to uh, Wallace. <sighs> Sorry, I just freaking love that film. But what we're going to do is just fold this up. Come around here, flip up the feet. Flip around, it's going to be the heel. Untap these, and then we can just move these down. These will tap in. Untap the waist piece. Move these little flaps up. Rotate this up. In fact, I've probably got this completely backwards. Like, trying to transform this gun section can get kind of confusing, and when I first uh, transformed, um, when I first transformed the super mode legs, I actually got kind of confused, so. I 
And uh, yeah, that actually does come off quite a bit. A bit. There we go, these bits, these bits plug into here. There we go. Then just spin all this around. In fact, spin the treads around and spin this around. Move the side skirts down, then move the front bit down. Move this red section up. Move that red section up. And now, the bit I've been dreading. Raising the camera, because he's too tall now. So, just bear with me. So, now, and now that we have this, well, I'll just quickly adjust my uh, stand. And well, the final step is to just take both halves. So we'll just take this, plug it into here, get these bits into here, and Here we have Optimus Prime in super mode. And trust me, like doing that last bit is extremely satisfying. Just the clicks, like the feeling of it, it's just really satisfying to do. And well, the box doesn't call this Eva Fusion, but. It's packaged like this, and seeing how Evolution's gimmick was combining weapons, I'm going to call this the Evo Fusion, so we can combine the smokestack guns with the normal gun, and I guess we have the Evo Fusion for this guy. So we can give him this gun. And now I've got him all armed up if you, if you want. Now, me personally, I don't think I'm going to display him like that. I'm just showing that that can be an option. So, I'm just going to leave those attached onto the figure. So, yeah. Why it's not called Evo... Why it's not called the, the figure's Evo Fusion on the box, I don't know. But, eh. But well, finally looking at the super mode after like what half an hour. I think this is well worth the wait. I mean, this guy just looks really foreboding, and he just looks. I mean, come on, this guy looks amazing. Just having a three sixty of him. Like everything cleans up nicely. Like the gun. Once you figure out, just the uh, plugs in there. Got the treads here, which also plug in nicely. Everything just cleans up really nicely. Just leads to a really amazing looking uh, super mode. Like, not, and not even the Siege Cybertron figure did that. I mean, hopefully we'll get a new one one day. But for now, we have this. Which, I mean, seriously... Armada fans are eating good with Legacy and soon Pry with the uh, the Red Alert figure. Because we got this Megatron, Starscream, two Hot Shots, the upcoming Tidal Wave, and the Elite Red Alert. So if you're a fan of Armada like I am, I mean, we are eating good. Now, just looking at the head sculpt. Now, that is a really accurate head sculpt with the, uh, I guess, pipes coming up the side, but I'm sure you can notice the eyes are yellow. And 
I did hear that that was a Hasbro decision. Like, they did want to make the eyes red like the original, but they just said, no, the eyes have to be yellow. And then maybe they thought that red was a Decepticon color when it comes to eyes, but... I mean, we've got uh, Sprock Starscream with blue eyes, so... Uh, I don't know. Now, do, do I mind? Actually, no. If anything, he, he kind of looks a bit more powerful with yellow eyes. So, uh, yeah. Now, of course, with the gun, I can finally show this off. Of course, we can plug in blast effects. And I'm, I'm, I'm using a full-on combined one just to, to show how powerful it, he's meant to be. And, of course, seeing how it's a big figure. But we... But we also have like these, uh, I guess, missile pods right here. So if you want to plug in some up here, then uh, there you go. Now, for other features, well, on the back, people have noted that there's some slots here. So if you want, you can combine this guy with Armada. Overload, the original. It's a bit messy though, like, can't really stand up well. Will they make a, a new Armada Overload? Personally, I kind of doubt it. I mean, if it's like a, if it's with a redeco of this figure, then maybe, but as a standalone release, I kind of doubt it, because, let's be honest, Overload's, uh, Full on um, role in the show was just to be a weapons pack for Optimus. Now, a, a new release of a well, a new figure of Jetfire, I could totally see happening. And in fact, I actually want that to happen. But well, for what we have here, I think this is amazing. Now, risking my uh, back so I can show the articulation. The head is on a ball joint. Of course, the shoulders are just the leg joints, so these can go forward. Well, in fact, full 360. Got a um, rotation there. Of course, really good ratchets. Swivel there. Rotation there. He does have a waist swivel now, but the, uh, yeah, the waist plate goes with him. Speaking of which, you have to move, move this up so he can kick forward. But again, really good ratchets. And of course, he can do the splits. And really good ankle pivot. And yeah, swivel there. there. Now, one final feature, you can actually move these forward, and these can replicate the uh, turrets on the original figure. I'm not sure if that was intentional, I'm pretty sure it was, but yeah, that's really cool. Although, in the stock photos, they uh, forgot to uh, uh, flip them out. Oh, and the hands can open, I forgot to mention that. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about this figure. Complaints? I mean, come on, the pro to, the pros definitely outweigh the cons, but, well, for complaints, I mean, I think they're more, they're more of the trailer, but the gun section on the back, you know, that holds the red gun, can come off quite a bit easily. Like, especially when trying to go back into trailer mode. Uh, what else? The, uh, warped ports for the Autobahn Insignia. And maybe the ratchets could uh, get a, a bit annoying for others, but... Like, now I'm just stretching for complaints because, come on, this figure is just... Uh, this is amazing. 
So I'm just gonna quit the bull crap and say, do I recommend this? Uh, of course I recommend this. Why would I not? This figure is, uh, this is one of the best figures that Hasbro has made ever. I mean, of course we've had the uh, uh, original, but of course, apparently it, it can catch fire if you're not careful. And, well, it's got GPS. <sighs> and we do have the deluxe version. But this doesn't do the super mode, so, uh, eh. So, I'm gonna say it. This is the definitive Armada Optimus Prime figure. I'm not gonna count that third party one, but this, this is the definitive Armada Optimus Prime figure. If you don't have this in, in your collection, then you need this. This is amazing. Like, seriously. I... I hope if they do it, like, more Armada figures in the future, like that upcoming Tidal Wave and that leaked Dread Alert, they are just as good, because they are nearing as... Uh, they are nearing as to the Armada figures right now. So, yeah. So, this has been my review on Legacy Evolution Armada Optimus Prime, and this is Charlie Young, signing off.